What is up, guys? Chick Cack is here for the second day in a row. I'm taking over the channel. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yes, I am. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. And today... We are going to be discussing... How do I even put this? Uh, basically just the absolute craziness and insanity behind the current melee builds and what is possible within Destiny 2, as well as some breaking news. And so, let's get started. Now, huge shout out to Error and Esoteric. They were the two people that kind of spearheaded a lot of the things we're going to talk about in terms of Discovery. Fantastic players, but essentially, you can do some absolutely broken broken things involving melee and stacking your melee damage to absolute absurd proportions within Destiny 2 Season of Dawn. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, yesterday the Worm God Caress exotic gauntlets for the Titan were disabled. You can still get them in game, but you can't equip them. What they did is upon each consecutive melee kill, melee damage would increase and keep stacking higher and higher. Then you would combine that with Roaring Flames times three on the middle tree Sunbreaker Titan, which increased the damage of your solar abilities. You combine these two things to make your throwing hammers deal hundreds of thousands of damage and kill raid bosses in seconds. However, there's another exotic for the Warlock that is extremely similar to the Worm Husks. It is the Winter's Guile. And as you can see, it has the same effect. When you get a melee kill, it increases melee damage, stacks up to five times. And you can see that working in the background. As I melee more and more enemies, I do more and more melee damage. Now obviously, this would be the perfect thing to combine with one of the best weapon perks out there, which is 1-2 Punch, where if you land all of the pellets on a shot of shotgun, you are going to do significantly more melee damage, and these things stack with one another. So if you have the Winter's Guile, and you're getting melee, and then another one and another one you stack up to times five and then you one two punch an enemy and melee you're gonna get all those increases to your melee damage happening at the same time and do a ridiculous amount of damage but there's a little bit more to it than that because it turns out when you increase your stacks up to times five there's only a little bit of a timer where that is active a five second timer so specifically if you're on the pc it's almost impossible to do this on the console but you can switch off of the winter's guile to another exotic as you can see and it kind of stores the timer so when you switch back although it won't say anything you have that Winter's Guile times five buff still up. So it allows you to like store it and then bring it back up when you need it. So if that sounds insane, we're just getting started because the next piece of the puzzle is the fact that you can stack one, two punch. That's right, you can get one, two punch times two. As you can see from the background gameplay, I melee, I do around 2000 damage. I one two punch, I'm doing around 10,000 damage. So it's near a tripling or even more so effect. But if I use a shotgun with one two punch and then switch to a separate shotgun with one two punch very fast, you can actually see in the corner of my screen, one two punch times two pop up. And as you can see, I'm now doing like 50,000 melee damage. So if we combine, all of these things together, what happens is as follows. I get Winter's Guile up to times five. I swap to another pair of exotic gauntlets. Then I set up my well for a buff and I have tractor cannon for a debuff. I use my tractor cannon. I hit one, two punch with the first shotgun, switch to a second one, melee, and I do 655,000 damage for a single melee in just a few seconds time. So, obviously, this is broken beyond belief. You're going to be able to solo raid bosses. Heck, I'm headed to Riven right now. Oh, it's disabled. That's right. In the midst of me getting this gameplay, literally as I was experimenting with this stuff, Bungie Help tweeted out this statement that Winter's Guile have now been disabled, just like the Wormhus. So, unfortunately, that crazy possibility 
isn't there anymore, but Winter's Guile and the Worm Husks are going to come back. And if you're on console, you really can't make the most of that entire like switching and storing it until later. The switching off of it and storing the perk is the glitch part of this. Like that's why those have been disabled. That's the ridiculous part. However, both of these exotics will come back in I wouldn't expect that long. And although it's a little bit harder to set up, you will be able to just normally kill enemies with melees, stack it up to times five, and then engage a boss really quickly and get that one-two punch combo. And currently, get the one-two punch plus one-two punch combo for that quintupling damage effect. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is what happens when an exotic that you're currently using gets disabled. You can see that my light is below 850. I actually tried to match in a menagerie and it wouldn't let me, even though all of my gear is actually well over 850. It's because the Winter's Guile is technically counted as like a zero gear score item. And I tried to use it because I still had it on. I thought maybe I'm, I'm under the radar that Bungie can't catch me. I'm a, an illegal build running around. But it turns out when it's disabled, as you can see when I'm melee killing these enemies in this strike, I have the winter's guile on but it, it doesn't have any effect popping up so even though i had it on it's not actually working properly in any event you know what didn't get disabled at least not yet is the double one two punch combo so thankfully there's a pretty easy path to get both a kinetic and a energy shotgun with one two punch so for your kinetic a really easy one to farm for is the Perfect Paradox. It has time lost bounties for it available in the Tower Obelisk. So you can pick up like four or five at once and be churning through those pretty darn quickly until you get one with that one two punch perk. Now the one I'm using in the background gameplay is actually the Hawthorne's Feel Forged shotgun. This was a year one weapon brought up into year two now with Season of Dawn so you can just get that randomly from legendary engrams. And the reason I'm using that over the Perfect Paradox is because it has more handling. The one-two punch perk is only gonna last for a second or two. So you need to shoot and swap to your other shotgun with one-two incredibly fast. So if you have two with extremely high handling, that is perfect. But speaking of an energy shotgun, some ones to look for are firstly a guaranteed one is the Python, which is the Gambit Ritual weapon. The problem with that is because it's an aggressive frame shotgun, it has trash handling. You can, however, make up for this if you put on a shotgun dexterity mod for your leg armor. So if you don't have shotguns with great handling, use again that mod to make up for it. Now there is two more options that have much better base handling than the Python, and that's two raid weapons actually. Firstly, the Emperor's Courtesy from Crown of Sorrow, which is the one I'm using. It has very, very good handling. Actually, the Curator role spawns with a masterwork in handling. And then you also have the new Garden of Salvation shotgun pictured here as well. All of those will have one two punch. And don't forget the Season of the Drifter shotgun that you can farm for within Reckoning can spawn with one two punch as well and its energy. And I'm using that combo with a pretty normal build, which is on my Hunter, combining it with the Liar's Handshake exotic gauntlets. So like the Python plus Liar's Handshake, a one-two punch shotgun in general, plus Liar's Handshake is already a great build. That's what I run almost always when it is the Brawler modifier in the Sundial. However, as you can see today, it's not Brawler, it is Grenadier, but I'm still capable of solo killing champions with this combo. So I just get that double shotgun shot, quick melee, and then you have the follow-up cross counter melee from Liar's Handshake if they still are alive. And again, I can solo kill barrier champions before they even get their barrier up when I combine it with a little bit of a debuff from the tractor cannon and also unstoppable champions oh, they're pretty stoppable with this combo as you can see again solo no help kill it in just two goes of this combo 
on a day when Brawler isn't even active. Like, this is not out of the ordinary. I'm used to this style of gameplay when I'm using this with Brawler, which is like tripling your melee damage and then stacking upon all this shenanigans. This is absurd damage outputs. Like, you can see when I'm meleeing a lot of these bosses and stuff, the number 140,000 pop up all the time. So, with this build, which again is totally enabled, at least at the time I'm making this commentary, you are doing 140,000 damage for a single melee. And the craziest part is that there are still things to discover, still exotics and combos to use for this build. I mean, right now, there's a seasonal artifact mod that gives you more damage for void melees. So combining that with a certain void subclass and then another pair of exotics, you know, something like the Claws of Ahamkara giving you a secondary melee charge could be something worth looking at. There is some seasonal mods for Season of Dawn that affect melee. I know there's one that will give you a huge chunk of your melee back when you get a melee kill, which obviously, you know, which enemies are you not killing with this combo? And so right now, melees and all the accompanying builds in Destiny 2 are just broken. They are insanely powerful. They are so good. And I just wanted to let you guys know about some of this craziness and the news involved around these disabled exotics and all that stuff. What are you guys determined to run with these melee builds? What is the best exotic you guys would combine with the double one-two punch combo? And let's see who can break the game next. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content so much this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.